I got angel investors to fund all of my startup businesses. And not the same angel investor, by the way. I found multiple angel investors who were interested in multiple different industries and I pitched an idea to them, they liked it, we met and they signed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to pitch an angel investor and give you advice. Hello everyone, my name is Antoinette. I am a 26 year old entrepreneur with multiple six figure businesses that were all funded by angel investors. I had bad credit and no sales history. And on this channel, I teach you how to do the exact same thing. Please make sure you have a notebook, pen and paper, because this information you're not going to want to miss. But, 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 before I actually get into uh, the topic of angel investing today and how to pitch angel investors, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support, for the messages, for all of the positivity you've been throwing at me. We hit 7,000 subscribers and counting. I'm so grateful, so thankful. Over 100,000 views on this channel. It's amazing. I'm really just here to help and support and let you guys know that your dreams are possible. Your dreams are already done. It's a matter of believing it and seeing it first. And a lot of people, they'll ask me, you know, how were you able to fund all your businesses with bad credit and no sales history through angel investors like i can't even find anyone who wants to look at my product guys the very first thing is i already knew it was done before it was done so what i want to tell you guys is law of attraction prayer affirmations it is law it works and i'm telling you it will get you the results that you want i knew that somebody was going to invest in my business before it actually happened and that's the reason why it happened right i believed in it so i want i want you guys to ask yourself like do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in your business? That's the main thing. But anyways, I could blabble on about law of attraction forever. Let's get on into this video. We're gonna talk about how to pitch angel investors. From time to time, I'm gonna look at my laptop. I made notes because I really don't wanna leave out any information um, on this topic. All of these topics are gonna be super, super, super amazing. I'm actually creating an angel investor series and this is episode two. I'm gonna put episode one down in the description. Make sure you watch every single video in this series. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and take notes. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what angel investors are, a lot of us have heard of like business loans, bad credit loans, cash advances, those are all great, right? So there's different ways to fund your business. An angel investor to me is one of the easiest ways. Angel investors are typically high network individuals. Um, they invest in very early stages of businesses. They kind of want to be there from the very beginning. I got angel investors to fund all of my startup businesses and not the same angel investor, by the way. I found multiple angel investors who were interested in multiple different industries and I pitched an idea to them, they liked it, we met and they signed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to pitch an angel investor and give you advice, okay? So, first of all, it's actually not that hard. That's a lot of people come to me, oh my gosh, it's so hard, this and that. You have to stop thinking that it's hard, right? An angel investor is a regular person like you and I, they just have a lot of money and they wanna invest in a business, okay? So just talk to them like a regular person. You have to breathe in, breathe out, just relax, relax, okay? You have to be so confident in your business that you don't care how many times people may put you down. You don't care how many times you hear the word no. You have to be able to walk in a room and be so confident in yourself and your product or your service where you could pitch it to anybody and in two seconds, whether they're sold or not, you don't care, but at least you had the confidence to pitch it. So when it comes to pitching angel investors, you need an elevator pitch, okay? That's the first thing you're gonna wanna send an angel investor. So a lot of people get elevator pitch mixed in with a sales pitch. An elevator pitch is just telling the angel investor a problem, that your business is gonna solve, okay? How you're gonna solve it and how big of a market there is for your solution. It is not a sales pitch. An elevator pitch, they call it elevator because let's just say we're walking into an elevator. Me and an angel investor, side by side, do to do, we walk in and I have 30 seconds to tell this investor why my business is amazing and he should invest in it. That's your elevator pitch, right? So creating an elevator pitch is, is again, problem, 
solution how big of a market is there so let's look at uber eats okay uber eats solved the problem of people not wanting to get out of their homes to get their own food let's face it as we grow as a society we're becoming more and more and more and more and more lazy period we are so i don't have to get out of my bed now to order food i could have somebody go to the store buy it for me and bring it to me so uber eats solved the problem of people not wanting to get out of bed to order their own food if there's a snowstorm right i could lay in bed and have my food brought to me if i don't have a car i can have my food brought to me especially during this pandemic i don't want to go outside i don't want to deal with people i don't want to catch corona I can have my food brought to me. Because Uber solves such a huge problem, they're so successful. That's their elevator pitch. Now, how big of a market is there for Uber? It's global. Uber is global. Everybody can benefit from Uber services. So with your company, what is the problem? What is the solution? How many people can benefit? That is your elevator pitch. Boom, bam, done. Okay? So you also need a pitch profile, okay? just these like these days just about everything is done through email which means just about everything is also available on the website which means you need to have a pitch profile ready to send to an investor now an investor is not going to want to open a pdf i'm telling you if you send an email to potential investors and i'm going to show you how to reach them in a second but if you send an email to potential investors and you have a subject line then you have the body and then you attach a pdf they're probably not gonna wanna open it. It's gonna go to their spam folder and it'll just be a waste of your time. So you need to create a pitch profile that is like a link. It's a web link that you can send to investors. I did mine through liveplan.com. I'm gonna put the link to liveplan in the description. It's guys, even before I decided to start a YouTube channel, I was using liveplan to, to make all of my business plans. I love, love, love their service. It's extremely easy to use and it's super convenient for people who were like me and didn't have a lot of business knowledge of how to create business plans or pitches or anything like that. So with liveplan, you can actually create a pitch. If they give you a link, you can send that over to investors. Now it looks amazing, okay? It's very well put together and investors can see from A to Z what your business is about in just a matter of minutes. So now your first response, right? Um, when and if the angel investor responds to your email, you're either gonna get a no or request for information. Now, let me tell you something, okay? Not every angel investor is gonna say yes to. As a matter of fact, most of them say no. That is why you need to know how to pitch them and how to make a business plan, okay? Now, if an investor says no, don't throw your hands up and quit. There, there's For every no, there's a yes coming, okay? So most angel investors, they're gonna request either an executive summary or a pitch deck, which are really uh, similar. I'm gonna explain what an executive summary is in a second, okay? So they're not really interested in finding out as much information as possible about your deal at this point. They just want the basics. What's the problem? What's the solution? How many people can we potentially reach so that we can make money, so that we can help people, right? At the end of the day, they want to see a return on their investment. So please, when you're pitching investors, do not intimidate them with every piece of information. You're going to scare them away. They don't have to see everything, okay? They're likely reviewing so many other deals. And again, I'm sorry if I keep looking at my laptop, I don't wanna miss out any points for you guys. They're likely reviewing so many other deals. They're likely saying yes, no to so many other people. If they don't want to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes reading your pitch, they don't. They're not gonna go through a million pages. Quick, quick, bim, bam, done. Okay, so now the more traditional investor is probably gonna ask for the executive summary, which I just had mentioned a while ago. An executive summary, now that's longer. You could spend your time on this one because it's like a two to three page synopsis of your business plan that covers things like your problem, your solution, market size, competition, management team, and financials. It's typically like in narrative format and it covers a paragraph or two about each section. So this is like a mini business plan. This is something you could also make within Live Plan. You could look on Google, you can, you can go to templates, you can see how an executive summary looks. 
um, but yours it has to be amazing and honestly guys when it comes to leveling up as a person as a business owner you need to invest in yourself I get a lot of messages oh you know how could I how could I start a six-figure business and spend zero dollars how could I find investors and spend nothing how could I make a business plan and spend I mean you cannot think that you're going to be an entrepreneur make multi six figures and spend zero dollars you need to have a budget and a way to invest in yourself your mentorship your products your services and things to get your business off the ground the biggest mistake i see is a lot of potential business owners they jump on instagram right away and they start promoting 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 selling 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 and they don't even have a plan in place don't be that person before you invest in products invest in your business plan okay now pitch deck so another request you may get from an investor is a pitch deck so a pitch deck is essentially your business plan or executive summary but this is actually spread across 10 to 20 slides in a powerpoint document okay so investors actually really like pitch decks because they force entrepreneurs to be very brief and they use visuals instead of a whole bunch of endless um, lists and bullet points okay so a pitch deck is amazing and i'm going to show an example of what a pitch deck is right now so i got this off of google you can go ahead and google pitch deck example for investors i made mine on liveplan.com but go ahead and look at the other options they have on google as well now your pitch meeting once an investor reviews your materials and they're interested in meeting with you you're going to sit down whether it's a coffee shop zoom i know things are crazy right now so it might actually be a zoom um during i had a pitch meeting at tim horton that was always my location for all of my meetings it's actually pretty crazy uh, but your pitch meeting is more about the investor liking you as a person not so much pitching your idea so a lot of people get this kind of mixed up where they'll go to a meeting all they're thinking about is okay i gotta sell my business my business my business what it does my problem my solution my vision no sell yourself the investor has to feel your energy they have to see your passion their money is going into your business, right? So they need to like you more than anything. It's all about building rapport. This meeting, forget about getting the deal right away. It could happen. Every single time it's happened for me. Every single time at the first pitch meeting, I signed. Every time. However, don't go there expecting to just sell, sell, sell. Be yourself, let them gravitate towards your energy and they'll wanna work with you, okay? So you want to spend time establishing rapport. They'll invest in an entrepreneur that they like with an idea. They're not going to invest in someone they don't like. If they do not like your personality, they know that they cannot work with you and they will not invest with you. So during the pitch, you run through your pitch deck, you answer questions, and the goal is not to rush. Don't rush. Take your time. If they want to talk to you for three hours, shoot. If you're gonna to talk to you for three hours and give me 100K at the end, you could talk to me for three hours. If you need eight hours of my time and you're investing 100K, talk to me for eight hours, right? You're like, you gotta take the time out and talk to these investors and be their friend first, okay? So the first few meetings is not to close. Again, yes, it's happened to me. But it wasn't the goal it just happened they liked my energy i was nice my plans were great and my pitch was amazing uh, but that's not the goal at the first time you may need a few meetings to actually build rapport and close with the investor so they're not looking for something quick 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 just be yourself represent the opportunity great and just be passionate about your business that's the whole plan about that's the whole that's the whole goal here to show the investor that you are passionate so again guys with the pitch okay you want to say the problem the solution what is your business going to do and how many people are you going to benefit thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video i have many more videos coming in the angel investor series about different ways in which you could be successful with securing multiple angel investors for multiple business ventures even with bad credit and no sales history thank you once again like comment subscribe and share and Meet me at the top, cause the bottom is too crowded.